Whoa. Hey guys, it's Katie and I'm here with my husband Chris. Hi. And it's I'm up for a new challenge this week. Very exciting. That involves Chris. He doesn't understand or know why or how. I have how. no idea what I'm doing here. I have no idea what's happening. It's great. <laughs> I thought it would be very fun this week if I tried to recreate some Disney Halloween treats. Ah. Ones that you can get at Disney that. World, Disneyland. Do you want to see what they are? Yes, absolutely. Let me show you what they are. I love snacks. I know you do. <laughs> That guy. Oh. That guy. Oh. That one. Oh my god, that looks fine. And that one. Oh my god. These are gonna be hard. What? I have faith in you that at least one of them will be close. Wow, just <laughs> one. The first treat I'm gonna make is the Mickey Mummy Macaron. It's macaron, right? Macron? Macaron? I hate this. You guys tell me in the comments how you pronounce it. Macarons can be a little bit tricky to make, so I am actually using Tasty's recipe, one that Alexis made and did a whole Tasty 101 on, so you guys should check that out. First, we're just gonna start with adding some powdered sugar, almond flour, some salt. We're putting this in a food processor because we wanna grind down that almond flour with the powdered sugar to a really, really fine powder. Now I'll take this and I'm gonna put it through a strainer. And I would do this in batches. It's just a little bit easier to manage and you won't get it all over your table, which I have definitely done. Hey, that looks good. Now I have some room temperature eggs here. First we're gonna do is separate the egg whites from the egg yolks. Then add a little salt and we'll mix this till it's nice and foamy and get soft peaks. Once we got our soft peaks, we're gonna add in some sugar. We're gonna do this slowly so we don't deflate our eggs. And let this mix until the eggs are shiny and we get stiff peaks. You know you're there when you can put the bowl over your head and nothing falls down. Then we'll add a little bit of vanilla extract. And I'm gonna add some white gel food coloring to make these super white macarons. Now that our eggs are looking real good, we're gonna slowly fold in our dry ingredients. We're looking to get a ribbony texture where you can make a eight without the batter breaking. Okay, I've got my batter in a piping bag and I've got a sheet pan here. Here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna pipe a Mickey head, which I think is just a medium circle and two little circles. It should be fine. He's <laughs> so cute. He might be a little small. Let's try again. I'm getting better with every Mickey. Next important thing to do is to smash down your pan. I'll let these guys set for about 30 minutes until I can run my hand over the top of them and it's nice and smooth. So these guys are ready to go in the oven. We're gonna bake them at 300 for about 15 to 17 minutes. Okay, we have our little Mickeys. They look so cute. I'm gonna transfer these guys to a cooling rack and make the filling. For the filling, I'm gonna make life a little bit easier on myself and used canned frosting. Then I have some crushed chocolate cookie sandwiches. So basically I am making a cookies and cream filling. I'm gonna transfer this to a piping bag and then we are almost there. So I've melted some white chocolate here and I am gonna be kind of crisscrossing that over the tops of these cookies to really make them look like mummies. Add little eyeballs. Oh my gosh, they're so cute! Not every cookie gets eyeballs. Every other cookie will get eyeballs. Okay, I'm gonna let these sit until the white chocolate sets. Then I'll add the filling. And these guys are done. Overall, so excited. I cannot wait to show these to Chris. They're my new friends. I think I could have piped on the white chocolate to make it a little bit neater, make it a little bit closer to Disney, but overall, super excited. Let's move on to our next treat and maybe that will go even better. Maybe. Okay, so we've done something Mickey. I think it's only fair that we do something mini. So we're gonna make these Minnie Mouse Halloween cupcakes. And the first thing we're gonna do is make that little bow at the top. So I've melted some white chocolate here, and I am just gonna add a little orange gel food coloring. I think we've got the right color here. So we're gonna move to our mold. I'm just gonna pour this over the top, take this offset spatula, swipe it to the side. It looks messy, but they're gonna look great, I swear. I'm gonna go put this in the freezer and let it set until we're ready. So next I'm gonna make the batter for our cupcakes. I'm gonna use a box cake mix. So a lot of box cakes mix ask you to use water. Instead of water, we're gonna use whole milk. And then mine asks for three eggs, but I'm gonna add an extra egg yolk. Adding this extra egg yolk in the milk is just gonna make the cake taste much richer. And then I'll add oil, just mix this up. All right, that looks good to go. Now we're gonna put in our cupcake liners. I got some fun little like Halloween ones. They're spooky. <laughs> so we'll add that to our cupcake pan. Then I'm gonna take a quarter cup of the batter and fill each one of these halfway up. 
I'm gonna go put this in the oven for 300, for 350 minutes? No, my house will be on fire. I'm gonna go put this in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake them for about 14 minutes. Well, that's baking, we're gonna make a buttercream frosting and it's gonna need a lot of butter, two sticks. Then we're gonna cream the butter, not to the point where it's airy, but it's just nice and smooth. Add some vanilla extract, some milk, and you gotta have a little bit of salt in there. Mix that up again. And now we're gonna start sifting in a ton of powdered sugar. Mix that in. You gotta go slow, otherwise it's gonna be snow all over your counter. All right, our frosting looks good. I'll take some of it and put it in two bowls. I'll dye one orange and one yellow. And I am ready to assemble, I think. <laughs> I have a problem. It's so cute. I love the chocolate ears. I love the tiny bow and the colors. It's just screaming Halloween to me. We'll see what Chris thinks at the end. In the meantime, let's get started on our next treat. All right, this next treat I'm really excited about. I love Monsters, Inc. and I love Mike Wazowski. Sorry, <laughs> I had to do it. First thing we need to do for this cake is make our little domes. So I have this cute little mold. Spray it with some cooking oil. And then I am using the leftover cake batter from our cupcakes, so nothing goes to waste for this. I'm gonna put this on a baking sheet in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 14 minutes. I'm gonna check it at 10. Okay, I've got our cakes, they're out of the oven. They are nice and cooled. We are gonna make a white chocolate ganache that's gonna go over the top. We'll add some white chocolate chips, one can of condensed milk, three tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna put this in the microwave for about 60 to 90 seconds. Once you get that out of the microwave, it should be nice and kind of ribbony. So the last thing we have to do is add some food coloring. All right, I think that green looks good. So now it is time to pour. Looks good. So we're just gonna keep going while this is still warm. All right, so while we let those guys set, I'm gonna dye some buttercream, purple, blue, and black. Last thing I have to prep are candy melts. I believe they use a white candy melt for Mike's eye and for his horns. So I am going to just slice one in half and that will make his little ears horns things. Now it's time to put one of these bad boys together. He looks good, he's so cute, I love him so much. I only need one good one to show Chris. So I'm gonna move on to the last treat, which is really spooky. Next, I'm gonna do the poison apple from Snow White, which I think looks like the most terrifying snack that they have served at the parks. So I have Honeycrisp apples and I've removed the stems. Now I'm gonna insert a lollipop stick inside of them. Our apples are ready to go, so now we just need to make a candy. So I've got about a medium saucepan here and I have a candy thermometer. And then I'm gonna combine some sugar, some water, and some corn syrup. Bring this up to a boil and let it keep cooking until it reaches 300 degrees. We are now at 300. I'm gonna turn the heat off, add a little bit of red food coloring, and stir that in gently. I'm gonna take an apple and we're just gonna start coating it. Okay. That looks like an evil apple. I think I need a backup one or two because, you know, I don't know how that design is gonna go. Candy apples done. Now let's put some poison on them. So for the poison, I'm gonna keep it really simple and I got some green candy melts. I went for more of this neon green because that just seems like more danger. I'm gonna put this in the microwave and melt it in 20 second intervals until it's nice and smooth. I've transferred my melted candy melts into a piping bag and I'm gonna try to do what is the hardest part of this, and that is the poison, like, skull face. Okay. <laughs> he looks so angry. It's not great. I feel like this has gotta be more melted to work. Is this the worst? It's pretty bad, guys. I gotta restart. Let's pretend it never happened. All right, I'm gonna try this again. This looks like a ruffle collar like he's going to. I, 
Oh, okay. I've moved it to a squeeze bottle and I have added a little bit of canola oil. Kelly from our culinary team recommended it. So I'm gonna try this and see if it looks better. Is he as good as the parks? We'll let Chris be the judge. I'm pretty happy with how he turned out. Like if I went to a party and saw this guy, I'd wanna hang out with whoever made it. You guys wanna hang out with me? I can't believe I made it through that. Let's go get Chris and he's gonna weigh in on what treat is the best. Whoa, these look great. Thank you, but now you have to choose which one you think looks the closest to the original and also tastes the best. Uh, I'm gonna try the Mickey okay. first. Okay. Wow, the Mickey Mummy is really tasty. I don't know if I could eat more than one of them. I'm gonna try the mini cupcake yep, now. Yeah, go for it. Wow, that was, that was the bite. Definitely tastes like just a really good traditional cupcake. All right, I'm sorry, Mike. There wasn't too much ganache. Uh, I really liked it. Okay. I really liked it. Now I'm gonna bite into this poison apple. Wow, that is pretty good. It's not as hard to eat as you'd think. Oh, I was shocked. <laughs> if I had to pick my favorite, what has the look of the original and it tastes really good. Yes. I'm gonna pick the poison apple. Wow! Yeah, I'm gonna pick the poison I'm, apple. I am shocked. <laughs> yeah. Am I the Mike to your Austin. Sully? Like, are you Sully and I'm Mike? No, you're Sully. No, I'm Mike. No, I'm, I'm short Mike. and I'm funny. No, yeah, yeah, I'm maybe, maybe physically I'm bigger than you, but I'm not. I'm not able to scare children as well as you probably. Are. What? <laughs> so rude. Get out. Get out. Children love me. They won't scream when I'm around. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes, your mic was out. All right, I'm done. 